Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to discuss with you what are the skill sets or what are the areas you should focus on to stay relevant in data science industry when it comes to 2022. So all of us are knowing some of the skills that we must have as a data scientist. For example, model building, model training, feature engineering, all these things. These are fine. But where the industry is moving, we will try to understand this with practical examples and where the shortage is coming guys. From my experience, I will tell you where we are seeing the shortage, where we are not getting the good people. And that is where you have to improve yourself. Believe me guys, many people are moving to data science. Many people are in the industry for many years now. And if you do not update yourself, then it's going to be difficult. So without any further delay guys, let me start with a scenario, okay? Let's say there is a bank, ABC bank, okay? What we are trying to do, we are trying to understand the problem in the industry, okay? So there is a bank, ABC bank, okay? So if you go 10 years back, right, when the data science was new or even 5 years back when the industry was not matured, okay? What happened is many industries hired data scientists okay because that was new many people were saying that if you invest in this area you are going to benefit it all these things were there so they built a small team of data science okay they hired people they hired some people from statistics background somebody from python background machine learning little bit these kind of people they hired they built a team they built some prototype they built some solutions one simple example guys if this abc bank right Let's say it operates in all the states of India, okay? Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, all these states. Now suppose the Karnataka team or Karnataka IT team thought of building a solution that could cater to some credit card fraud, just an example. So they hired a team, they did that solution. Now the question comes, how this solution will be used in the production? That is question number one. Question number two is, Suppose this solution is very good, then how this solution will be rolled out to all the Indian states? How it will be used as a centralized solution? What all I am talking about is the industry problems, not only with one bank example I gave you, it is many places guys. Let me tell you the way industry started adopting data science and the way data science has also matured and the way they want to benefit now from data science has changed a lot okay so previously people did not think that we will build a prototype we will build a poc then how we will industrialize how we will scale it up how we will make it production ready how we will review it how we will kind of update it when new things come so there is a possibility that solution which is built for one indian state may not be working well with other Indian state. So what kind of modification? How do we accommodate that? And that is where many of you would be noticing that when you are uploading your profile in job portals, right? Then sometimes we get irritated also because they ask many things in their job description, right? Do you know Kafka? Do you know Flume? Do you know Airflow? Do you know Big Data Unix? Do you, do you know uh, dashboarding? All these things they will ask. The reason for that is all of you are already aware of this. They are looking for something known as full stack data scientist. Now, full stack data scientist saying this is, you know, very broad. It's a broad term. But how you will become a full stack data scientist? What are the skills you will need apart from your core data science skills? So the example I gave you guys, one bank is trying to scale up its solution. One bank is trying to industrialize in a in a larger way, in a centralized way, in a bigger way. So what kind of skills it will be needed? This is a very, very real existing problems in many of the organizations, guys. So what kind of people they will look for? They will look for somebody who is good in productionization part of machine learning or deep learning, right? So first skill that you should focus on, guys, in this year 2022 is MLOps. Remember this, guys. MLOps, productionization of your model, dockers, 
how to deploy your model in cloud how to deploy your model in premise and how to review your model monitor your model and you know continuously upgrade the model that is one area where you or me or everybody in data science need to focus now now why i am saying everybody in data science need to focus why can't we hire specific people for that work okay the reason for that is we understand how models work guys right because uh, a simple example right you train a model and then uh, you give me your model artifacts you give me your pickle file you give me your tokenizer object you give me your some pre-trained model so i will be the one who can understand what what is what right which is what thing is being used for what purpose i will understand and i am the one who should be responsible for deploying it maintaining it managing it there cannot be a, a blank person who can come and work in mlops right there cannot be a person who is very good in some other skill set he doesn't know anything about ml and he will be a very good mlops engineer no for becoming a very good mlops engineer you have to know how machine learning works right skill number one focus on ml ops productionalization that area okay skill number two guys i have never seen in my career this much shortage of python resources never i have seen guys python resources are in crazy demand nowadays okay and the reason is same now what is happening many data scientists data science team are growing big in all the organizations right they need people who can code they need people who can write production ready codes now what is the meaning of production ready codes so there is a difference guys right in python you can do simple scripting using pandas and numpy those things right and on the other hand you can do some modular programming you can use encapsulation decorators those kind of things right so if you are still not using those things it's high time to learn object oriented python and also improve our skills on all the uh, production standard codes okay so no matter where you are and where i am in python level wise i am saying okay it's time to improve what my plan is i will create more python videos with medium level topics medium level means not too advanced topics but something which you should know okay i will add more videos in my existing python playlist which is here you can see this is the skill number two okay skill number three guys big data unix and how to work on unix based systems okay as i keep saying this always to you all the databases sorry all the data all the haroop systems will be mostly in unix based platform okay if you are very uncomfortable with that you will have a hard time i have created a playlist here you can watch that you will be at least at a level where you will not feel uncomfortable when you are exposed to big data haroop and unix environment kindly watch this playlist guys and learn basics of this and then you can improve more on that fourth skill i want to talk about here guys obviously and this is the skill which is which will never go out of the picture any any time frame of data science we are talking about whether we are talking about 2005 2010 or now that skill is nothing but communication skills and storytelling okay so Whenever I am telling something to you, right, you should understand very well that that defines how good my comm skills are. At the same way, in the same way, when you explain your model to business or a layman or a person who is not technical, it should be very, very clear, right? Second thing, whenever you are onboarded in a new project, right, there will be many things that might come to your mind. Some questions, some doubts, some things related to the architecture. They might be using some shortcuts. For example, uh, mm, there can be a system data lake. They might be using DL, DL, DL. Everywhere you will see DL. Now, if you don't have a very good comm skills, right, you might be hesitant to ask what is this DL. You might be hesitant to ask what is this database. Don't be hesitant, have a good comm skills to interact with your colleagues, with your managers, people around, right? All these things will be very, very useful for you in business communications and also within your team. Skill number four was communication and storytelling. And skill number five, all of us know this, as more as data science is evolving, 
as more demand from us to know more things right so i'm talking about the code data science code in code data science all of you know every day new things are coming and that is our core thing right we cannot leave it we cannot afford to leave it so what is improving in code data science many things in cv area many things in nlp area many things in um, kind of explainable ai you can say many things in terms of um, a b testing uh, many things in terms of how can you how can you fine tune the model how can you do a better feature engineering all those is inside our core data science umbrella right so i will just give you one more recap of what all i told you guys we understood one business scenario and we understood what is the problem with the industry they are trying to scale up on a larger scale it's not happening because of lack of right skill set one mlops second python third all your big data unix part fourth you should be very good in storytelling and comm skills and fifth our core data science area where we cannot afford to go below average or you know not being updated so that is the message from this video guys i hope this video was useful so in the next year 2022 focus on these skills right and i am sure all of us is going to do great in the coming year i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care